I, I would probably explain it how I remember my mom explaining it when I first found out, and it's basically like, it's like a, a car, right? Except there are no brakes. So like there's a stoplight and it's like me doing something that annoys someone, but I can't stop doing it because there are no brakes. I can't stop. And I feel like that's a really good way of putting it because it is like a lot how I feel like, I feel like a car with no brakes, I'm unable to stop even when I want to. Like sometimes I bother my friends and I don't really mean to and I, it's just it's not fun because like I, I have to explain to them why later and I don't like it when they when I like have to explain why because it's just hard for me to do because most of the time I don't actually know why I did it. And yeah, in terms of my my emotional dysregulation, I just consider it the ways in which I am particularly um, sensitive and the ways I am more easily stimulated, um, both actually in like getting really excited and also getting really stressed and really scared. So um, with emotions and like strategies that I use, the biggest one that when I was younger that I didn't do that I do now was, I, some, I just walk away, it doesn't matter if it's mid-sentence, if I feel that I'm getting too angry or if I feel that I'm going to the point where, um, that I feel that is too much, then I will walk away. And you know, Some people think it's rude, but it's my way of calming down. And Emotionally, even as an adult, so if I were to lose something or if I'm having an off day, I could still become very emotional and that's hard when you're living with other people, even as an adult. They don't always understand and they're like, why are you upset? What's going on? When I get frustrated, I kind of get very caught up kind of, and I tend to explode a bit all at once, even though even if it was something minor, though I've become much better at just regulating my emotions now. For example, when I'm home and I'm playing video games and my mom asks me to do something like do the dishes or something, I act like she's asking me to cut off a finger or something and I'm like, no, I can't do that. What? What? And I feel like you're like making me completely restart everything even though that's not true. And I can just pause the game for five minutes, but I don't feel like that's possible. And I do understand why I do it if, for example, I was playing a game and I had to like manually save the game. Then I would understand why I got mad because I would have actually lost a lot of time with progress, but the thing is the majority of the video games I play, they automatically save. So it really doesn't matter. But I feel like it matters in the moment more than anything. Even if it's something I want to do, like if I want to go swimming, but I'm playing a video game, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go because I want to go swimming. But then like half an hour later, I still wouldn't have gotten changes to my bathing suit and I would still be playing video games, even though I do want to go swimming. And the anxiety doesn't go away even being on medication that doesn't fix everything but for me if i was feeling anxious i didn't have to worry that i only had a half an hour left i was given extra time therefore i could wait 15 minutes and just relax and have time to check it over and i went from getting c's in high school to being on having honors every single semester anxiety can seriously be intense because of my adhd and I think they're really similar in that way. They also like fuel each other because if I'm anxious about something, um, and I'm usually anxious about at least two things, like at all times, because it's just generalized anxiety, right? Um, my ADHD will usually make me overthink that thing more. And um, because it's like, I'm jumping from one place to another, I will be worried about it, but not just feeling anxious. I'll also be thinking about it and making connections to how it's going to make everything go wrong. And, so my ADHD kind of makes it go all over the place and my anxiety makes my feelings even more intense.